people welcome back to another video today we're doing my college evening routine and this might be my last college night routine ever but I thought I would take you through a night routine because my nights since moving downtown have definitely changed so I thought I would take you through an updated college night routine but I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get into it just got out of my last class for the day. It's currently just past 3 p.m. We're gonna go and try and get the 3.15 shuttle if it's not too full. just got home it's just past 4 20 so it took me almost an hour to get home but we are in a giant cloud this afternoon it is just straight fog can't really see much first thing that i always do when i get home is grab a glass of water and then if i have any packages open them up um which i do have a few today which it's always fun to come home to packages and like see what has come throughout the day and then we're gonna take off my makeup it's always a must as soon as I get home is taking off this makeup. It is now 4.40 and it is dark out so we have the giant light on right now. I'm going to set up more mood lighting like I usually do in the evenings but it is Tuesday so that means two things. One, it's rest day for me. I don't work out on Tuesdays at least this semester just because my schedule is so busy on Tuesdays. I leave my house at 8.30 and then I'm not home until 4.30. So I'm normally pretty exhausted when I get home and I just have been taking Tuesdays as my rest day. But that also means it gives me time to do hair wash day on Tuesdays as well. So I just put some oil in my hair and I let this sit for normally three to four hours before I go through my hair wash routine in the evening. I made a promise to myself that when I chop my hair off, I would just take super good care of it and like make sure it grows back really thick and healthy. So we just have a nice little oil bun going. But like I said, it's around 4.40. Like I said, typically I'm pretty exhausted when I get home on Tuesdays just because my day is so long. So I'll take a little bit of a break before I jump back into my classwork and anything that needs to get done. So sometimes I'll read, sometimes I'll do a little bit of mindless other work like answer emails or anything kind of like that that doesn't quite make me so mentally exhausted. Something that I can kind of just do and just chill for a little bit. Lemonade. 
Ooh, tastes so sweet. Three part piece, making one for me. Them ocean sounds. Ooh, sip slowly. Grains of glass riding on my feet. Do you love me? Do you not? Do you think about me every time? Cause you've been running my mind all day. Oh, as I ride through the ocean, sleep on my face, play a teddy pin of grass, listen to the waves. You keep coming right back, and I think, and I think you could be my ray of sunshine. You could bring the darkness to light. I just wanna feel love, baby. Say it ain't so. Everything that I got just left my control. Oh, my lemonade. Ooh, wee. Sticky, sticky, sweet. Kissing on my cheek. Girl, I love. Girl, I love. Girl, I love you. Never did I. Stop. I mean, I think it's too low, I ain't the top Makes sense Ways away, ways away, away Thinking I can't ever make up my mind Thinking my thoughts never pay me no mind I must be dressed up in overalls Be overalls, yeah Lemonade Why you make me feel this? I have one of two moods while I'm cooking in the fall and winter months and it's either Gilmore Girls is playing in the background or jazz music is playing in the background and tonight was a cozy jazz music night. I don't know why but it's one or the other. I feel like I've watched Gilmore Girls enough that it's like something nice that I don't mind hearing in the background I don't really have to watch. And then jazz music just gives me those like cold winter months like cozy cooking inside like often if Alan comes over for dinner it's like a dancing around the kitchen like wine night jazz music just gives me those vibes and I love it and I just feel like it puts me in a good mood to cook like I always have to have something on it can never be silent while I'm making dinner I just love having a good mood going while I'm making dinner so if there is nothing on while I'm making dinner, then something something is off in my day and I just for some reason wanted silence, but that is definitely a rarity. I really got a reason no I'm in the run for my reason maybe reaching my mind. dinner I made a little spicy salmon bowl with some soba noodles and then I made homemade spicy soy mayo dressing and then we have some edamame avocado cucumber and mixed greens on there as well with the onions and salmon so now it's time for me to eat dinner this is really the time where I like to relax I'll go and sit and watch Netflix and kind of just chill and decompress a little bit before I head into my evening of studying and work. I recently finished watching The Witcher and I loved it. So tonight I'm gonna start the sub-series, The Blood and Origin Witcher. Um, I honestly have no idea what this is about, so we're just gonna watch and find out, but I'm sure I'm gonna love it because I loved The Witcher. So this is tonight's show.
know my hair is looking a little crazy and poofy now that it's started drying but because it's the beginning of the semester i don't have a ton of work to do yet i do have a few readings to do which i'm going to aim to get probably 50 percent of them done tonight and then i'm thinking i'm also going to get started on some ideas for my flash fiction assignment that's due in two weeks I feel like for me because I've only ever taken one other creative writing slash English course in university before that I might as well like draft some ideas and then just try and like perfect it and make it <laughs> like filled with literary devices and things that I know will be graded well but also like a first draft is always rough and the flash fiction needs to be around a thousand words so pretty short for a fiction piece so I figured I might as well get some ideas done for that. But other than that, there's not too much work that I have to do because for my finances course, it's pretty basic stuff. Like I have practice questions that I could do, but I'll probably get to them later this week. And then I haven't had either of my psych courses yet this week because they're on Thursday and Friday. So I don't have any readings or homework for that yet either because it's just the beginning of the week. Finally time for one of my favorite parts of my evening routine, which is reading. And this is my current read is the third book in the Throne of Glass series, Air of Fire. I'm not too far yet. I'm about 20-ish pages in. So still like a lot to read, but definitely liking this one so far. I didn't really like the first book, loved the second book. So I'm hoping that this one just keeps the pace and like, goes well because I definitely was in a bit of a reading slump in last semester. I only read one book. Mind you, it was like a 700 page book. So this I think is like 500 and something. So yeah. So hopefully I can get through this all right because I have a lot of books that I want to read this year. But we are starting off January just trying to read this. So I just ended off my night with a little bit of reading, a little bit of journaling, and I also read my Bible a little bit. I've been on a pretty good 10.30 p.m., 6.30 a.m. sleep schedule, so I'm going to call it a night and try and stick to that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this updated college night routine. Of course, every night looks different, but this is really just what an average night looks like and some of the things that I love to include into my evening routine when I don't have a ton on my plate and when I have a little bit more time but I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you all so so much I will see you in the next video bye